In this video, we will look at chip seal construction in a bit more detail. Chip sealing starts with laying the binder, which is usually a cutback bitumen or an emulsion, over the surface to be sealed. This is done from a bitumen spray truck, which is a specialised tanker truck. This truck picks up the bitumen from the bitumen production plant and transports it to site. The bitumen needs to be maintained at high temperature so the tank is heated. The truck is fit, also fitted with a pump which pumps the bitumen to spray nozzles which evenly distribute the bitumen across the road width. Upon arriving at site, the nozzle spray rate will be set to the rate required to produce the required binder thickness and then checked on a small section. The bitumen needs to be applied to the road at a uniform rate to get at the bitumen layer that is the specified thickness. If the bitumen layer is too thick, then the chip will be buried in the bitumen and will not provide the required surface. If the layer is too thin, then there will not be enough bitumen to hold the chips in place and the surface will break up. Therefore, the pump and nozzles are set to spray at a set rate so that when the truck travels along the road at a set speed, it will lay down the bitumen layer of a speci specific thickness as shown in this photo. The chips are then immediately laid in a thin layer over the whole surface. The chip is brought to site in a conventional road truck fitted with a chip spreader. The truck backs over the newly laid bitumen, laying the chip as they go. The chip spreader is a rotating cylinder that pulls the chip out of the tray and drops it on the road. The rotation speed of the roller can be changed to increase or decrease the amount of chip being laid. That is what the worker to the side of the truck is doing. He is also monitoring the amount of chip in the truck tray to make sure that the truck stops before it runs out of chip. The bitumen is sticky and if the truck rolls onto the bitumen without chip then the bitumen will lift off the road and stick to the truck tyre. Apart from requiring additional work in hand spraying the bitumen and laying chip by hand later on, it also takes quite a while to get the bitumen off the truck tyre. The chips are then rolled using a steel roller or a pneumatic tyre roller. This photo shows a pneumatic tyre roller or a PTR um, doing the rolling. The rolling presses the chip into the binder but also causes the chip layer to lock together. When the chips are rolled, they tend to roll over onto their longer side and lock together to form a tightly locked layer. This interlock and the binder hold each chip in place and enable them to resist the horizontal forces induced by traffic turning, braking and accelerating. Note that by rolling over the chips are typically sitting on their long side and the average depth of the chip layer is the average dimension of the shorter side of the chip. This means that the average least dimension helps determine the depth of the bitumen layer and hence the depth of the um, binder layer. <coughs> 